One of the most powerful teachings that I've been learning over the past few months is staying in your lane. What does that mean? Staying in your lane means not doing law of attraction practices that don't feel congruent with you. Stop doing things that don't feel in alignment. Just because someone said that if I do this, it's going to manifest amazingly. Like yesterday, I released a video on uh, manifesting using the seven chakras. And it's very powerful and it should feel congruent to you. However, if there's something resisting and you feel like it's not in your lane, then don't do it, you know? And so, you know, I can teach, I can share stuff with you and other teachers can share stuff with you. But the most powerful thing you can do is stay in your lane and be true to yourself. Now, oftentimes you'll find that uh, there's a subconscious program or limiting belief stopping you from doing a set exercise or practicing something. And that can be the case sometimes. And so you want to identify whether or not that's the case. Um, however, for a lot of people as well, is that we need to acknowledge and realize that certain practices need to be done in a way that's in alignment with your truth and it should make you feel good. For example, I used to practice gratitude every single day and I used to write it down. And I don't like writing, <laughs> but I used to force myself to do it because I heard from other law of attraction teachers that you need to write down your gratitude list and you need to do it every single day. And that's another thing that caused resistance is because I was told that I need to do it every single day. And the truth is, that's not 100% true, right? What if I'm doing it every single day and I feel like crap doing it because I feel like I'm forcing myself, <laughs> forcing myself to write a gratitude list. Now, sometimes I'll be writing a gratitude list and I'll be feeling completely numb. I'm just writing a list for no reason. And that's what we want to realize is like, are we doing these exercises like visualization, writing a gratitude list, using these techniques and strategies, does it actually feel genuine? Does it feel true to us? Does it feel in alignment? If it doesn't, you are literally manifesting the wrong intention, right? You're manifesting uh, resistance by feeling resist resistance. You're manifesting the manifestation not working because you don't feel good, right? You need to feel in a, you need to be in a certain vibrational frequency to manifest what you want. And it usually stemming from feeling genuine. The intention needs to be pure. And the thing is, when I say the intention needs to be pure, that could be for bad things too. Okay. And so I know this, uh, you know, this, this idea that when it comes to manifesting something, that something that's pure means is good. Right. And so, um, we want to acknowledge and realize that there's uh, people on the planet or the inorganic ones that have a pure intention to hurt others. And so there's no karma on that. You know, there's no karma, there's no backlash, there's no, um, you know, uh, uh, things coming back to them and negative things coming back to them because their intention is congruent with uh, being pure. Okay, it's genuine. They genuinely want to hurt others. If they feel bad about hurting others or whatever it is, right, then that's going to come back to them. And so we need to acknowledge and realize that when it comes to us and our intentions are not pure, uh, we're going to cause a conflict in terms of our vib the vibration that we're giving off. And so we want to find that genuine space and uh, feel uh, aligned with it. And so oftentimes when it comes to manifesting, I only ever put out an intention of what I'm creating when it feels aligned. I won't force myself to do it. I won't push myself to do it or anything like this. Another thing that we need to look into is doing things like spells or rituals when you don't know what you're doing. You don't know the consequences of what you're doing. You know, many people, they will uh, participate in magic, right? And these spells and things like this, and they'll go see like a spiritualist and, you know, have some sort of witch, you know, do spells for you and stuff like that to manifest money. And maybe, you know, for some people it will work, maybe for some people it doesn't work, but we want to understand the consequences of what we, we do. We have to realize that there are 
beings um, in an alternative reality that can see what we're doing. And it's so important that we have accountability. Like, who are you accountable to? Are you, who, like, are you accountable just to yourself? Or are you accountable to something uh, like the Most High or God or the Divine, right? And when we, when we can acknowledge and realize that we won't play around with certain things, you know, and we, we, we need to know that there's a cause and an effect, right? The seven hermetic principles, right? One of the seven hermetic principles is the, the law of cause and effect, that there's always a cause to an, an effect. So if you're manifesting uh, bad things into your life and things just keep on going wrong and you're participating in spells and rituals and uh, not using the law of attraction in the right way and it's incongruent, there's your answer. You're playing around with fire and not even realizing it. You know, you can't just go willy nilly manifesting things into your life. It's not just that, there's more to manifesting than just literally you know, visualizing the thing that you want. I'll give you an example. Um, for me, I was visualizing myself in the Maldives. And by the way, I manifested being in the Maldives. But it, it took two years. And it took a lot of uh, hardship and tribulation to get to that point. And so uh, we need to realize that when you ask for something in this reality and what we call big, right, sometimes we can expect um, upheaval of certain emotions, things that we need to purge out, changes that we need to make in our life. And, um, you know, lessons and teachings that are gonna come our way. Um, if you play around with things like manifesting your ex back, you know, you're gonna cause a lot of problems because now you're dealing with another human being, right? You're dealing with another human being right? We shouldn't be manifesting things like this, right? That's someone else's life. And maybe their life path is not to be with you, despite what feelings or intuition that you have, right? You want to get out of the ego and listen to the truth. You know, what does God think of this? <laughs> you know, what does the universe think, think of this action that you are taking? Is it when cause and effect, what this action that you're taking, is it congruent with source? If it's not, you shouldn't be doing it. And also, even if someone says that it's good to do this strategy or technique or whatever it is, right? Doesn't necessarily mean it's good for you. It might be good for them. And they might know what they're doing beyond what you're doing. They might have certain ancestors or, um, you know, spiritual guides or whatever. And what they're doing works for them but you might have different ancestors, a different background, a different approach to doing it. And maybe you don't, uh, you, you upset your ancestors, maybe you upset certain uh, beings using the technique and the strategy that said person said to use. So this is why you need to stay in your lane, right? And know your truth. And you heard me say this before that you wanna take tuition within, intuition. Right? You want to go and study yourself and get connected with the Most High. Uh, your, your team, right? your uh, archangels, your star seeds, your, um, your divinity, right? your truth, your Akashic records. And playing around with other people's energy is not good. It never, it's never good to play around with someone else's energy unless it comes from the infinite intelligence. What do I mean by that? So there are certain uh, healing practices that come from the ego, all right? And there are certain healing practices that come from source. For example, Reiki is a divine energy. Theta healing is a divine energy. There's an there's a intelligence behind the healing, right? Beyond you. Uh, pranic healing is another one in a way. Um, pranic healing is a little bit of both actually. Uh, but you know, you're channeling into the divine and it's got an intelligence behind it to facilitate the healing. If you're healing someone and it's coming purely from ego, you're playing with fire. And so w when I'm healing someone, I'm always asking for permission. If I need to connect to someone's energy, 
I'm always asking for permission. I don't want to alter their vibration unless I have consent, right? When you don't have consent, when it comes to the sexual uh, stuff, right? What is that called, right? It's called grape, right? You know what I mean, right? So I can't use the actual word because it will flag the video or whatever, right? So we want, we want to re realize that when it comes to, you know, touching someone or whatever it is without consent, it's abuse. Why would we heal someone or try to manifest an ex back or a specific person? That's abuse, right? That's not consent. You, you haven't got consent. Right to play around with those types of energies, and so we want to realize that doing these things can hurt our uh, vibration. It can cause us to attract certain vibrations to us, which we don't want to attract. Right? We can end up getting into toxic relationships. We can end up uh, manifesting a lot of money than losing it. You know, I know from experience, and so over time. What I'm learning, what I'm learning from my spiritual mentor is that you want to be in tune with yourself and you want to be uh, totally aligned with yourself. In other words, you want to stay in your lane. Really think about this, okay? Really think about the things that you've done in your past in terms of manifesting. And if, you feel, if you're feeling a little bit guilty right now and you're wondering, okay, uh, I've done these things in the past, what should I do now? I'm a little bit stuck, like... Uh, how can I manifest going forward? First, I would say, you know, go and surrender, right? Surrender and ask for forgiveness, right? Uh, ask for forgiveness for the things you've done in the past. Um, make the universe know that, you know, you didn't know, right? You didn't know that this is not good, right? You didn't understand, you know? And so, you know, just ask for forgiveness and make sure you're asking for forgiveness from a pure space and to release these energies of things that you've done in the past and release the idea of the ego and let the universe know that you want to be guided more to truth, more to unconditional love, more to the heart chakra, more to staying in your lane and that this is the direction that you want to go in and perhaps this is the direction that you're committed to, you know. Um, hopefully intuitively you can feel that moving towards, moving in this direction is more congruent Right? And maybe there was a part of you before that felt incongruent about the way you were manifesting, you know, and you're just going to try this and you're trying that and it's grasping and it's lack and it's trying and it's manipulation and it's get, 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 take, 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 me, 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 I, 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 I want, I want, I want, right? And now you're moving more towards staying in your lane, truth, uh, trust, unconditional love, um, peace, harmony. Uh, holistic right I made a video on manifesting holistically okay there'll be a link in the description where you can check that out right using the seven main chakras and so um, does this feel a little bit more genuine and yeah just surrender that surrender to truth and that's it whatever the most high is for you whatever uh, God you know or belief system structure that you have forgive and surrender to truth once you start surrendering to, to truth and you're doing that from the heart and it's coming from a genuine space, it will open up things for you in magical ways. Just wanna let you know, I'll give you a word of warning, there might be a little bit of upheaval, you know, first, before it gets uh, pure and beautiful, right? Um, you know, th th there's been things from your past and you're, you're needing to process that karma, process those old actions, uh, process those old causes, because, um, you know, um, it's like a, a, a back, a backlog of things that you've participated in in the past. All right. And don't be afraid because on the other side is something beautiful. All right. And trust in that, you know, you've got to trust. And so many people don't trust enough. Right. If I could tell you one thing to do is trust, 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 trust so deeply. Trust the unconditional love, trust truth, trust your God belief system, your belief structure. So I want to invite you to heal. I want to invite you to uh, heal these energies. If you don't know how, you can get a free energy reading and a manifestation diagnosis session because we show you how to heal and heal correctly and purge all of this stuff up and process it 
in a, a very pure and easy way and transmuting it to um, truth, back to truth, okay? And learning how to manifest from the heart, okay? I'm all about heart-based manifestation. Um, I do teach some ego-based stuff and ego-based manifestations are totally fine to have. Uh, so if you're someone that's wanting to start your own business, run a business, make your business more successful, or you're wanting to heal a relationship, or you're wanting to uh, manifest a better life, become your greatest version, then the free manifestation diagnosis session will be for you. If you've got money blocks, abundance blocks, um, energy blocks, and you want to get rid of those, uh, definitely get the energy reading and manifestation diagnosis session. The link will be in the description. And check out my previous video on how to manifest holistically holistic manifestation using the seven chakras it's powerful stuff radically change your life and check out my free part series on how to raise your vibration correctly and remember to keep learning keep growing keep expanding and i'll speak to you soon peace